Good morning, how are we doing today? My name is James Sweeney, AK Split Suit. Welcome back to another video. And today I wanna to walk you through the top seven features of Flopzilla Pro. If you've been using Flopzilla Pro for the past little bit, you may know of some of these, you may not know of some of these features, but if you haven't upgraded yet, or if you haven't purchased Flopzilla at all, this is going to be right up your alley to figure out what this software can really do. Now this isn't gonna be a complete how-to tutorial on Flopzilla. I have one of those available at splitsuit.com slash Flopzilla, show you how to use the software from a more technical perspective, set up problems, that sort of fun stuff. This is going to be more about the features that I really, really love about Flopzilla Pro specifically. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So feature number one is that the upgrade to Flopzilla Pro is totally free. So if you've purchased Flopzilla in the past or you've gotten Flopzilla bundled with one of my workbooks or the hand reading lab or something like that, it is totally, totally free to upgrade. So if you're using Flopzilla 1, kind of version 1.8.6 or anything like that, you can can upgrade totally for free, go to flopzilla.com, download the pro version, which is 2.0 and beyond, and rock and roll, set it up, install it, you'll be good to go. So free upgrade, Awesome, awesome, awesome. The second feature that I absolutely love about Flopzilla Pro is the pie chart. If you know anything about me, you know that I love pie charts. I love thinking about ranges in terms of pie charts. So let me show you how this works. So if you're in Flopzilla and you go in here, plug in a range, let's just say a 20% range of hands. Don't stress about that exactly. Let's say the board is Jack 9, 4, and this is the pie chart over here to the right. And right now it's just set up to show us two different things. All of the hits that we've selected in this blue color are 44 points. 0.4% and then everything else is this grayed out color or 55.6% of the range and how it's hitting this board. Now the cool thing is that in here you can go in and you can set different weights. Let's just say that we wanted to visualize this and see okay how often does our opponent have two pair or better let's just say that's going to be all the green. How often are they going to have one pair of hands so over pair, top pair, all those kind of things. And let's say we're gonna say green are, I'm sorry, pink are going to be like draws. So flush draws, open and straight draws, gut shots, and let's just stick it to backdoor draws two and rock and roll. Okay, so what we have here is a pie chart that shows us how their range is hitting, what, what percent of their hits are going to be very, very strong. So right, that big two pair plus is gonna be roughly 4%, and then everything else is right here for us. And what's also very cool is you can also hit only display grouped hands. So that's only gonna show us the stuff that we just said. It's not gonna show us the grayed out stuff. So if we're really looking at how often is our opponent going to have strong stuff when they continue, this allows us to kind of visualize what that's going to look like. This is literally how I try to train my brain to think about things as I'm thinking through hands in real time and studying and playing. So this is awesome that it's visualized right in front of you on the front page of Flopzilla Pro. Definitely, definitely, definitely a very, very welcome addition and a great, great feature to have. All right, awesome feature number three is the flop type analysis. Now in the past, you used to be able to do this in tools like Flop Falcon, but there really weren't a lot of ways to analyze flops and get really, really granular with it. But in Flopzilla Pro, you have that option. So if you clear out the board, you notice up here, you have this little kind of bar chart button, hit that, and this is the flop breakdown tool, which allows you to do two very, very important things. One, see how often specific flops are hitting, which is very, very helpful, especially if you've never really explored this stuff before. And then number two, you can filter for those very, very specific flops if you wanna do very granular analysis. So you can go in here and you can just select, you know, whatever kind of flop you're looking for. So if you're looking specifically for unpaired flops that are rainbow, then here you go and you see exactly what that's going to look like in terms of how many flops are coming. And when you go down here, you see all of the uh, essentially a bunch of random flops that are meeting this criteria. So if you look down here like, wait, that's not supposed to be there, then you know you set up a filter wrong. So it's kind of like a proofer for you. But this is extremely, extremely helpful stuff. And let's say that you know we wanted to look at specifically boards that are ace high, have a second card between king and 10, and then the third card is going to be a deuce through nine. So again, down here, we can proof that we have everything set properly. We see exactly how often this kind of flop is gonna happen, roughly 9% of the time. And this is very, very helpful. And then we can also go through and apply it. And this is just really, really helpful for like, off-table granular analysis of 
flops and starting to understand how flops hit and just as importantly don't hit right especially if you're trying to look at spots where you're set mining and you're like okay what is the value of a set mine here you know we have to catch our specific card are they going to catch strong enough in order to pay us off how often is that going to happen this can be very very helpful for that kind of granular analysis so definitely 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 an awesome feature to see folded into flopzilla pro all right and then feature number four is range versus range mode and this is awesome to see in this software because it used to be available within Flopzilla but you had to use an add-on called hold EQ and now it's baked directly into Flopzilla itself so what you do is up here you see this little kind of two-person icon hit that it switches all of this over to multiplayer mode and then in here we can start having some fun so let's say that we want to add another range and we're say this right here is our range and we're going to build our opponent's range let's just say we think they're going to call with I don't know 16 percent hands it doesn't really matter we're just using this to kind of look at and see how things work let's pick the board let's say king queen six with a flush draw up and we can do all of this awesome analysis from here so this is the same thing we can see how often you know our range hits their range hits all that kind of fun stuff so if you want to see how our range hits we can set all those things we can also do the same thing for our opponents if we were to lock in a hit or something like that you notice that it changes the equity up above based upon the pass-through ranges and you also have a bunch of features baked in that used to only be in the hold EQ software where we can look at the EQ graph and see how everything is looking our hands versus their hands we can see the equity matrix and exactly which hands have the highest equity and again we can do that for each person's range and then we also have the hotness which is analyzing the next card and how those cards are going to impact equity and this can be extremely helpful for starting to see okay what percentage of the next cards are going to be good for us versus bad for us versus great for our opponent this is extremely extremely helpful stuff and we can also go back to single mode at any time just by hitting that single player mode button but this is extremely helpful if you're trying to do range versus range stuff which is good when you're thinking about playing against stronger opponents who are also trying to put you on a range if you're just playing against kind of more basic fishy kind of opponents that are really more thinking about themselves and not really thinking about you and your range range versus range isn't the most important thing in the world but again Against better players and as you're preparing to play against better players this is extremely invaluable and it's awesome to see it all baked into a single software rather than having to use that whole DQ add-on which for Fobzilla Pro is essentially useless because it's all just baked right in here. All right, now the fifth feature that I really love in Flopzilla Pro is the custom filter creation. So over here, you can click this gear icon, it says customize stats, and you can actually build your own bucket that's gonna go right in here. And this is very helpful if you're constantly exploring or looking for very, very granular explorations and like specific kind of hits. So let's just say that you wanted to build one that is all middle pairs that also have a two card backdoor flush draw, right? Very, very simple, throw them in here, hit the down button and then you can save it and all of a sudden it's going to show up right here in the software very simple so let's call it middle pair plus bdfd cool awesome except and you notice boom it's right down there very easy to throw into your exploration and analysis so if you're looking for very very granular exploration especially when you're using these kind of buckets or you're sick of trying to go in here and like get really really filtery just set it up, let it be automatic. It'll show up here every single time you use Flopzilla and explore. Very, very awesome feature. The sixth feature that I really love is note taking and the fact that it's built directly into Flopzilla Pro. This is extremely helpful if you tend to review hands later, even just occasionally, this can be very helpful for kind of quickly going back to that hand and saying, okay, what the heck was going on here? What assumptions was I making? Why did I filter X way or Y way? Very, very helpful. So up top, you can go to command, add or edit a note, drop everything in here, da, 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 cool, cool, cool. And then when you save it and reopen this file, then you can pop it open, check out what's going on, get back up to speed quickly. And this can be very, very helpful, especially if like you're doing the workbook stuff and you're 
you're like, okay, why did I make that assumption? Or you're studying a hand and you're like, well, I'm not 100% sure if I like that, but I'm making an assumption here and I want to be able to share it with someone else. And I might forget what the assumption is. Save it in a note, reopen it when you reopen this file. And just for the record, saving in Fubzilla is super easy. Just file, save, and it just saves like any old thing. And then you can open things later down the road if you want to you know, have fun and go from there. You know, super simple, very, very good if you ever go back and re-explore old analysis. And feature number seven is that you can pair Flopzilla Pro with GTO Plus. So if you want to bridge the gap between just your Flopzilla exploration and your GTO Plus or GTO Solver exploration, this is the perfect, perfect solution for that. So if you have GTO Plus, and by the way, this is a separate cost. It's not baked into the cost of a Flopzilla license, but if you're into Solver exploration, this is 100% worthwhile. You can go either way. You can push it from GTO Plus into Flopzilla or vice versa. So say you're in here in Flopzilla, hit GTO plus, export to GTO plus, export everything, and you notice, boom, everything is right in here. Now all of a sudden you can build your tree and you can have fun and go from there. So this is excellent whether you're starting your exploration in the solver and say, you know what, I want to get more granular in Flopzilla. Or if you're starting in Flopzilla and you're like, okay, well, what would the GTO solver say? This is exactly how you do it. So you don't need GTO plus unless you really want to get into the solver stuff. But if you do, this is the absolute perfect pairing system. And I love being able able to use both of these tools very, very easily rather than having to like copy and paste ranges and, and redo the boards. And it just it gets, gets really, really cumbersome if you try to do it manually. But this kind of automatic pairing is beautiful. And those are the top seven features of Flopzilla Pro, in my opinion. Now, if you've been using Flopzilla Pro for a while and you found any other cool features or kind of things that I missed here, please don't hesitate to share them in the comments down below. And of course, like this video if you like the stuff that Flopzilla Pro is doing. I mean, the fact that this is a free upgrade if you've purchased Flopzilla in the past is honestly a little nuts to me, but I massively appreciate it and I hope you do too. And I hope you put these features to use. So as always, if you have any comments or questions, please don't hesitate to let me know. Again, if you need to learn more about Flopzilla and you want to learn just kind of generally how to use this software, visit splitsuit.com slash Flopzilla. There's also a link to purchase my Splitsuit edition of Flopzilla, which comes included with my ranges and some other training videos as well. Don't have to, but if you haven't purchased Flopzilla yet, that is a great place to start and gets you on the right foot right away. So again, if you need anything at all, don't hesitate to let me know. Otherwise, good luck out there and happy grinding.